Hello, and thank you so much for watching this tutorial on creating your book cover through Lulu. This is actually part two. Part one, I put on YouTube for free, showing you how to create a book cover. So on part one, I ended with all of these layers because I showed you how I put some of these elements together to make this book cover. Everything you see here on the book cover is actually a layer over here that shows in this box. So we have all of our layers here that you can see individually. In order to finish off your book cover, you must flatten all of these layers. Now, before I show you how to do that, I just want you to see how far this cover has come. In 2015, when I first published this book, this is what the cover looked like, okay? This is what some of your covers might look like. <laughs> it looks like a self-published book, unfortunately. I loved this image here because it had the vibe and the feel I was going for. And this is what I did five years ago. Of course, the book wasn't really selling. So this year, I got the inspiration to redo the cover and make it look like this. And lo and behold, this book started selling. So you want to create covers that actually sell, that make people feel proud that they have actually bought your book. So I feel very good about this cover. I bought copies of it and it looks great. Uh, the print job is really great on it. So I'm very proud of how this has shaped up. Okay, so you too, that's a note for you. So you too can see the difference between this and some of your books might look like this, you know, first time out, but how you can get to this. Okay, so now let's flatten all of these layers. Go under layer, scroll all the way down to flatten image. The prompt says discard hidden layers. Okay, that means here, this little eye means that everything is visible. If you click that eye, then whatever is over here becomes invisible. So I actually have some invisible elements here that I decided not to use. Instead of completely deleting them, I just decided to hide them and make them invisible. So that's what it's saying. Do you want to discard hidden layers? I do want that to happen. So now you can see all of those layers have been combined into this one layer that says background. So instead of all those individual layers, which makes your file size really, really large, you have to flatten it. So for Lulu, you have to flatten your book cover. And that's what this means. Flatten all of those layers so that it's gonna make your file size smaller, number one. And then it's going to put all of these elements. It has a more polished look. When you flatten it, it has a more polished, seamless look. So that's what you want. So now we need to make this cover, which is an image now, into a PDF. But I want you, before we do that, to check the settings. So go under image. Go under image size. Now we have used a template downloaded from Lulu, but your image has to be a resolution of 300 DPI. So this is the cover that was downloaded from Lulu and it says 2.9999, that's fine. It's still pretty much 300. So I just wanted you to see how to check your dimensions. This is in pixels. You could also put this in inches but I prefer pixels. So our resolution is good. It's 300 DPI, which means that it will be acceptable to Lulu. So now let's go under File, Save As. Under Save As Type, click that down arrow and find PDF. Photoshop PDF, click that. You want to name your file. 
click save. That's all you have to do. You don't have to change any other settings. You want to make sure that high quality print has been chosen. And when you do that, you just want to use Adobe's default print settings. So you don't have to change any of this at all. Just go ahead and click Save PDF. So now that your image, this image, this combined image has been saved as a PDF, you want to make sure that you go back and undo the flattening. Go back to Edit, click Undo, because you need to keep your layers. Undo Flatten Image. So now all of your layers are back. If you ever have to make changes to your cover at any point in the future, you have to save this native Photoshop file with all of your layers. So now let's take a look at that PDF file. It will appear in whatever folder you saved it in. And this is what it looks like in Adobe PDF. This is the file that you will upload to Lulu. Do not make any changes in this PDF file. Do not edit it. Do not resave it to another file name. Nothing. The new Lulu system is very sensitive. You will not have any problems with your book cover if you follow these steps, if you use the default settings in Adobe Photoshop for high quality print, and if you do not make any changes at all to your PDF file, it should upload correctly. And that's it. Now you have a print ready file to upload to Lulu. Thank you so much for watching and happy publishing.